Hello, welcome to Anson Griffith's occasion series in YouTube tutorials. Today we're looking at this problem, uh, the LRC circuit, the resonant frequency. So this is exercise eight, and there's one or two new concepts. We have a list box, we're writing the file, etc. So we want to calculate the maximum resonant frequency. And that's got by I is V over Z, where V is the voltage and Z is the circuit impedance. If I just go down here at the end, so we have the frequency, work out the reactance of the coil, the reactance of the capacitor, hence we can work out the impedance. And the current is I is V over Z, so I is a, I is V, which is 100 over Z, so 100 divided by 73.939 is that. 100 divided by 4.51 is 22.19 and 100 divided by 11.08 is 9 and a bit. So you're expected to read through the, the instructions yourself but just give you some idea. Now all you need for this is a command button and here is a list box and the list box is that lad there. And for this exercise, I've renamed the list box over here as LST output. So that's all you need, a list box and a command button. Okay. So I have the code here, but the code is just a little small. And I've also uh, copied and pasted this code into Word where I can make the text bigger. So to know which is better so i've defined my constants here my voltage the length the well, yeah, the capacitance etc 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 and i've defined pi excuse me just one second <coughs> and we have here we're going to generate uh, the current from 40 to 60 in steps of two uh, the data file i've defined there so you're defining user slash a slash document slash vv6 slash lrc dot that so lrc dot that is the data file and that is called file one now remember for yourselves you'd have to be writing it like there <coughs> you'd be have to write into the z drive so you will have to change that yourselves to z colon backslash whatever so if I just go out to here and I have it in Word, excuse me, <coughs> the vo voice is just a little hoarse this morning. Sorry about this. <coughs> so I have it there. This is the same code, copied and pasted. I've defined my constants. That's going to start my for next loop. And there we were just describing that there, just where I've highlighted there. That's um, how to open the file for writing. And it, the hash one means is you've just called it as a file one. There, on these two lines I've highlighted there, you're just adding the titles to the list box. You know, the frequency reactants, the, uh, the impedance, the capacitor the ohms amps etc and then there to write the headings that are in the list box to file right to file number one with those headings the bit of maths is here you have a for loop and if i just go down a little bit here that for is closed by the next here so there's a fair bit of calculations going on. But it's, so you're going from 40 to 40, that's there, frequency low to frequency high. Uh, that's 60 in steps of two. And where are they coming from, ladies and gentlemen? They're just coming from there. There's frequency low, there's frequency high, and there's the delta F. So you do the reactants, you do the. Um, the inductive and the capacitance, you get your Z and I is V over Z. You chuck, or you write, would be a better way of putting it, 
uh, your calculations to the list box there and then you repeat uh, the the commands that you put in the list box were there with the there you then do the same instead of saying list output dot add item you say write hash one write to file number one all those numbers and then down here you write an if statement to calculate the resonant frequency so if your i max so if the current frequency that's the the current the frequency that you've just calculated is that is greater than the maximum current well then the maximum current equals the frequency that you have just calculated the frequency that is present now and then the the resonant frequency equals the frequency that you're on at the moment so you loop through that 40 to 60 in steps of two so that's sort of like um, 10 or 11 times whatever it is you do all of that you have a message box there to display the the thing to screen in vb6 you close the file that was written to by say close file number one hash one and there's your end of sub there's the same code there I didn't go through it, the editor there. I just, as I said it in Word. So that's okay. And then if you go out to your, there, you, there's your LRC dot dot. So, so let's just run it just to make sure that, sorry. So you get the maximum resonant frequency at 50. Click OK. And that's done. And then we just um, end it there. I should have done a non load me, but that's OK. That's done. If we go out to here, there's, I've just written it. Uh, it's Sunday morning. See down here, the system clock is 13 to the 11, 1058. Yeah, 13 to the 11, 1058. So that's, I've just done it. So every time you run this, you overwrite the file that you created, the LRC dot dot. It doesn't append, it just overwrites. Then you're to go out to Excel. You're to read in the data file. And remember down here to have all files, not just if you have Excel files, you won't see it. But if you say all files, you'll see the data file there. Click open. Uh, delimit it, click next, and our ones are comma separated. You can see it there. Click finish, and there they are, and then you're asked to do the, the graphs. Hope that helps a little. Thanks very much for listening.